This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, hopefully you are okay. How are you doing? Um, right, a couple of things. Firstly, apologies for no video over the weekend. Um, I am not gonna lie, I have been a very, very busy person on the weekend. Just spending time with my family more than anything. You know, we did lots of stuff, went out for walks, went to the beach and stuff like that. I just didn't have enough time to edit a video and upload to, to YouTube. So firstly, please accept my sincere apologies. It's a video that, well, it's not even this video, this is a different video. I've decided to record this Monday morning, which is what it is right now. Because I didn't record one, or sorry, I didn't edit one on the weekend, I've sent it off to my editor, Jamie, if you're watching this, I'm trusting you to do a good job on this. Jamie's going to, it's going to be the first time that he edits a video for me for YouTube. Normally he rips my content off of YouTube and puts it onto TikTok into different parts. Um, he's been doing a good job on that, been gaining me some followers. So now I'm trusting him in creating content, uh, well, editing the content that I've created to upload to YouTube as well, which just takes more stress off me it gives extra time for me to do other things during the week and maybe even upload more content who knows so where are we we are in bangor and we are about to deliver to who's gray over there however however we've actually been driving um since 4 a.m this morning it's half past eight just after half, uh, just after four o'clock we started actually to be honest with you and you'll see here that we've literally done four hours and 16 minutes of driving already. That's what we've already done. So we're gonna have a quick 15 minute break before we go inside. We're gonna have a break here on the road. We've got the hazards on, we're okay. Vehicles can pass either side, not a problem. We're gonna have a break right where we are. Mind you, that being said, that digger thing in that Ebro may have given me a little bit of dirt. Look, maybe I should go back a little bit. It does actually look a little bit busy and we are quite close to the corner. Hmm. There are cars behind me, but I may go back ever so slightly. I think I will. Once these cars overtake me, I'm going to go back. Right, I've just gone back ever so slightly. Um, at least now vehicles can get past me. We are going to have a quick 15 minute break. Once the brakes finish, we're going to jump outside, probably undo the straps, and then we are going to walk into Who's Grey, tell them we are here, and then we'll come back to the truck. And if they don't call us in straight away, we'll continue having a break. Who knows? Um, we need to get a 45 minute break in either way, either before we go in or when we come out. So that's why I'm not in a rush to get in. We have, like I showed you earlier, we we're on four hours and 16 minutes of driving. We need to, from here, which is Bang Bangal or something, we need to go to Carnarvon, uh, right next to Carnarvon Castle. I've been there before. It's another Who's Grey. That's where we've got to go from here. And we won't have enough time to get there from here without having a full 45 minute break. Right. The other thing we've got to contend with is the fact that I don't want to say it's been loaded in the wrong order because I am the one who said we're ordered to be loaded in. But I, I made that decision based on the text I received. It, the text from my boss said load, uh, load for Carnarvon and Bangor. So that's what I've loaded for. Uh, Carnarvon, Bangor. In other words, we're going to Carnarvon first, then Bangor, but we're actually doing it the other way around. Now, the issue with that is it means what's going to be coming off the trailer in a minute, and I will show you, it's going to be the stuff on the front, leaving just stuff on the back. Um, and we, I decided to swap it around so then we didn't have to have a 45 minute break on the road. We can just come straight here. It's a nice industrial estate. I already had a look. And uh, rather than pulling up in a, in a lay-by. So it does mean we're going to take the front off and there's going to be some on the back. But it's not too bad. It doesn't go all the way to the back. Let me show you. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. This stuff needs to come off on the front. Um, and the sum on the back is going to stay. I need to work out exactly which ones are coming off. Right, I've taken the straps off. So, all of this on the front is coming off. That's staying on. What I'm going to do is, once all this is taken off, I'll put a cross strap over the front to stop that sliding forward. It should be okay on the back. It can be the case sometimes that when you've got too much weight on the back, it will cause the back end to sort of move a bit. But it's going to be okay. We're literally going 10 minutes down the road, so it's not a massive amount of weight. It's only seven pallets. And it's quite low. It's not like, if it's really tall pallets, it'd be different. But it's not as low. Anyway. We're gonna walk into Who's Grey now and tell them we're here. See what the crack is, because we might have to reverse in, we might have to drive in. There's another entrance down there. So I don't know where we're going. Can have a look. Right, come on in, he said we've got to go there. We're just on the road. So yeah, loads of space. He said I can either reverse in or drive in up to me. I'd like to reverse in if possible. Depends how busy this road is. 
But if we can, we'll try and reverse in. It's not a hard reverse. Okay, we are now in and we did reverse in in the end. Uh, so yeah, we've had a 15 minute break outside. That's good. We're only 20 minutes away from uh, the next place. And um, because I've already taken my straps off, we're just sitting, we're chilling now. So we are on rest now. If we happen to be here for half an hour, we would have had the entire half an hour, uh, sorry, 45 minute break that we need. If we are out of here within half an hour, then I'll obviously have to go down the road and have half an hour down there overall. But the reason why I wanted to come to this one first was because I had the option to have a rest outside. Whereas the other place I've been to before, there's no room. Um, so that's why I've come to this industrial estate instead. And there we go, one's been taken off already. Uh, like I said, once he takes that one off as well, and the one behind it, I'm gonna cross strap the front of this because we're not gonna be on the headboard. So just for added protection, cross strap the front, and that'd be fine. I'm sure there'd be someone out there who says, I've got to move it to the front and blah, 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 but I'm the one driving and I'm the one who considers that safe. It's my license at the end of the day. So if it is wrong for whatever reason, then uh, well, it's my responsibility, isn't it? But I believe it'd be fine. I've had stuff on the back before, no problem. It'd be fine. In fact, actually, trailers are tested to MIT standard with just the weight on the back of the trailer. Did you know that? Anyway, let's get the rest of this off. A question I'm asked all the time. What do you do for a toilet when you're on the road? You ask if you can use the toilet. Right, we have been here for half an hour now. We're still being unloaded, so I have had my break. Um, which is why now we are outside the truck and um, yeah, we're just going to do some bits and bobs whilst, uh, whilst we're waiting. I think they were just busy serving customers. Okay, he's taken most of them off now. For some reason he's left that one on. I have told him it's his. Um, I need him to move it so I can cross strap these. I've got a strap over ready to go. I just need to flick it over diagonally, do it up, flick it back over again diagonally the other way. But for some reason he's taken off every one I want, don't want him to take off yet. <laughs> Never mind. Two, three, four, five. five. Five more to come off and then this one, which is the sixth one. Um, 17 in total. I keep asking him if he wants to pay for it. He keeps saying no. He said give it to the other guy, he's got he's gonna unload you. But he's unloading me. <laughs> um, he's like, is this one ours as well? So get George as well. I said, Do you want the paperwork? Now it's right. So he's refusing to take the paperwork. I'll go without it getting signed, I don't care. I've got all the proof I need that it's been coming off by this video. <laughs> this video is my POD. POD, by the way, stands for proof of delivery. Four more left to come off. These ones here and that one there. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, it's all right. The weight on the back won't be too bad. Right, that last one's coming off now. So now we can cross strap. We're waiting for it to come off. All right, so done one side, just gonna do the other side now. Okay, so that was what I was talking about. Cross strapped on the front, so that's uh, stopping any forward movement. And uh, it'd be fine on the back as well. So yeah, 20 minutes down the road, that'd be fine. Let's go grab our paperwork. He's, well, he's taking it now, so I'm gonna jump in the truck and wait for him to bring it back to me. All good? Yep. Uh, that's fine, just sign it. Yeah, all good. You got a copy, I'll have a copy. Um, what's that? I don't know what he's saying. I'm going. Hey, right, cheers, mate. This thing's a bit. I'm not going to say anything nasty. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so. We're going to head off now to the second destination, um, Carnarvon. So, seatbelt on, and uh, let's get going. I'll see you there. I will see you when we get there. See you in a bit. 
damn it. <laughs> I phoned up around the corner and they said, yeah, come on in, uh, you can come straight in. I've come round and the, the truck turned out like literally 20 seconds before me. <laughs> oh no, never mind. So I will be in once he comes out, I'll have to do exactly the same, drive up there, reverse on back. I've done it before, got it on camera, easy enough. That's what we uh, will be doing once he comes out. Uh, this car seems to be struggling to get past. I don't know why. Um, anyway, yeah, so here we are. Parked outside. Lovely. So again, probably what I'll do is I'll take the straps off, ready to go. Drive up there, reverse on in, and then um, be good to go then. That's probably what we do. I'm, uh, I'm getting very hostile vibes here. I don't think the locals are happy that I'm part here. There's one bloke who keeps poking his head around this corner. <laughs> It'll be funny if I get up on camera. Okay, we are in. So we drove up there, reversed on back, basically where that little one is going now. Uh, we are now inside and we are currently being tipped. As you can see, he's taken off the seven pallets. Now I have messaged my boss to see what we're doing from here. I don't actually know. He said he's loading a truck at the moment and he will get back to me. If I had to guess, I would say we're probably heading over to Liverpool to do a boot walk down to Staines. It's something I do quite often. It's something I've done from here twice already. So I'm going to assume we're doing that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that is what we are doing. So chances are we're going to get tipped. We're going to go around the corner. We're going to find a lay-by to park in and then we're just going to park up and wait and basically be told what we're going, where we're going next, basically what we're doing. So yeah. Just have to wait and see. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now Link is in the description down below. Uh, 20, yeah, 25th today. Yes, please. Lovely. I'll have my pen back as well. Pen. <laughs> Cheers, mate. See you later. I hate it when people steal your pen. That's why I carry more than one, because sometimes they get away with it. You forget. Anyway, uh, we still don't know where we're going next, so I'm just going to park up somewhere around the corner in a lay-by somewhere and take from there, see you in a bit. Right, we've just arrived at our collection point now for the mesh, this is something you've seen loads of times. Got some, uh, some cloths there. <laughs> um, I'll just put it in the sat-nav where we've got to go. So we're actually going all the way down to Devon. It should be quite a few miles. We're on seven hours driving already, so we can only do three more hours of driving today, and then we'll be done. Um, if we were to head straight there now from here, it is going to be 5 hours 15 minutes. So years. I'm hoping I can get to Portbury Docks. It's going to be touch and go, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get down here by Portbury Way. If we can do that in less than 3 hours, we stand a chance. Oh no, we're not going to get that far. Okay, we're going to have to think of somewhere else to stop. Okay, somewhere else I know we can park is up here in uh, Tewkesbury. You can go all the way up here, turn around and park up down this road. Parked here before. Can we do that in less than three hours? Uh, we can do that in three hours, okay. That's our benchmark. So that is the furthest we are gonna get today into Tewkesbury. Um, obviously it depends on how we get on, on the way down. We'll have to wait and see. I also started at mm -hmm. Hubbard's four this morning. Um, Actually, it would have been before half past four. I think it was more like quarter past four. So we can only work until quarter past seven. So that's something else we've got to think about. If we left now, we'd be there for four o'clock. Um, so as long as we're out of here in the next two hours, working time won't be an issue at all. Three hours, as long as we're out of here, there'll be no issue in working time. Um, but the driving time is what we've got to think about. We're on, yeah, we're on nearly seven hours now. Tewkesbury could be pushing it. That is including 10 minutes of traffic, mind you. So if the traffic dies down, we might make that. Otherwise, we'd be staying in services, I think, on the way down somewhere. Hmm, someone's just come up to me and said there's at least an hour wait. He said Newton Abbott. I was like, no, Devon. He said, yeah, Newton Abbott. I said, it says Devon on my paper. Is Newton Abbott in Devon? I don't think so. What am I thinking? Of course, 
of course new town but it's in devon <laughs> that is exactly where i'm going okay well he's still in the portal cabin right next to me so he said it's an hour wait gates opening so i was having a complete mind break break then yeah newton abbott is where we are going in devon he said newton abbott i said devon he goes yeah newton abbott i said yeah i think so my paper says devon <laughs> um I think it's not the bloke who normally deals with the paperwork. I think they might be on break or something, I don't know. Um, so he said, yeah, just come on in, park up, and uh, one of the lads will see you in a minute. So I am literally now just parked up, waiting for someone to come and speak to me, but I have already been told it's gonna be an hour wait. There are two trucks to my right-hand side, presumably also loading uh, mesh as well. So I am going to be here for a while, which is annoying because it means I'm gonna be working later. I mean, it is what it is. We'll see how far we're down we can get. I think if we can't get to Teachbury, the next one up is going to be Strenchham Services. If we can't get to Strenchham Services, the next one up is going to be Frankly Services. Um, um, and hopefully we can go at least to Frankly, at least, because then it's going to leave, like, well, quite a bit of driving in the morning. Um, yeah, I mean, even if we go to Teachbury, it's still going to be two and a half hours in the morning from there. So we've got some driving to do, man got some driving to do and it obviously it was a very early start this morning what of it being a um for something like i need to do a print now just double check what time i actually started um in case i do run out of working time but um it's like it's way before it's before quarter past four so i've only worked till quarter past seven late one tonight long shift right we have now been here for an hour um the truck that was to the, my right hand side has moved and another one has entered uh, but there was another one to the right-hand side um, that was here before me. So I think one more truck is yet to be loaded, then it'd be me. And then there's actually another truck to the left-hand side as well. Yes, we're going to be here for at least another hour. Um, we've been here for one hour already. Going to be another hour at least. It is what it is. No one else has come over to me yet, though, since I have been parked up here. So, um, I don't know. He said Newton Abbott, didn't he? Or Newton Abbey or whatever it was. And that is where I'm going, so... I'm assuming it's just the same stuff going multiple loads. I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna we're just wait until we get caught in. <laughs> but for now, we're still waiting. Right, one and a half hours later, we are currently now being loaded. Um, I think all of the trucks that were here are all going to the same place. So it'd be interesting to see in which order we arrive tomorrow. Um, part of me is thinking there's no point rushing to get there first thing if everyone else is. Do you know what I mean? Um, but we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, we're currently being loaded. I'm going to get my IVs on ready because in a minute, in a minute, I'm going to have to jump out and and uh, and start strapping up, and then we make our way down to uh, to where we're going to park up tonight. Which I'm still not sure because there's a bit of traffic coming up, so we will just have to keep driving until uh, until we get close to our time. It's only a four day week this week. It's Bank Holiday Friday, so I don't mind using a ten on a monday in fact actually for the last two weeks in a row this will be the third week in a row i've used a 10 hour drive on a monday so yeah a i'm used to it now and <laughs> b it's a four day week so not going to mean too much so there we are getting loaded nice okay not going to show you the load seen it all before in other videos i also want to be a little bit careful what i film in here because it's becoming a place where I'm coming to quite often, quite a lot. Therefore, it's becoming quite an important job. And I don't want to upset anybody by filming anything I shouldn't be filming. So yeah, we just strapped up and done it as quickly as possible because it looks like it's about to rain now. And uh, in fact, it's starting to rain now. So uh, yeah, I wanted to get in as soon as possible so I didn't get wet. <sighs> Three hour drive, three hour and one minute drive to our destination where we're mm. going to park up. Three hours and one minute. And we've got left three hours and one minute. <laughs> so, but that is also including 15 minutes of traffic. So it's going to go one of two ways. Either traffic stays and we're not going to get there in time, or the traffic disappears and we will make there in time. Or we might even get worse and we get less, even less further. It's one of them where we will I've got some ideas of where to stop. Obviously, Frankly Services, Strentham Services, and then Teaksbury. 
obviously I'll aim to get to at least frankly services on the M5 and then I'll see how much driving time I've got left and whether we can push it any further. But yeah, for now we're just waiting for paperwork and then uh, and then we can leave. Right, I've been waiting a while. Hello. Hey, hey, what do you mate? I don't know what was going on. <laughs> got up fine. <laughs> See you later, mate. Right, um, we are loaded. Um, let's put this paperwork. Put this paperwork here. Yep, so we're loaded, we've got paperwork, we're ready to go, engine on. We're going to crack on ETA to um, Port Boudox is half past six. <sighs> Don't think we're going to make it, we're going to get caught in traffic, so I think it's going to be. Frankly, services maybe strange them. I don't know. We'll have to see. I see you when we get there, wherever we get. I see you in a bit. Okay, that's us done. Ugh. Engine off. We have parked in Hilton Park. Managed to drive straight in, basically from where that um, lorry is coming in there. Look, straight in, and park straight forward, <laughs> ready to go out in the morning up there. We got an early start in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, look, there's our neighbour for the tonight as well. He's just pulling in next to me. Happy days. Not a fridge. <laughs> now, I don't actually know what time I'm leaving yet. I'm, I've said 4 a.m. 5, 6, 7. That'll put me there for about hour past 7 in the morning, which is reasonable time. So I'm, I am thinking getting up at 4 a.m. and then going from there. But that's going to be in tomorrow's video. I might vlog it on my GoPros. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe. <laughs> But that is going to be it for today. As you can see, we have done eight hours and 51 minutes of driving. So that means we haven't gone into a 10 hour drive, which is good. I think I'm going to go into a 10 hour drive tomorrow um, based on what I've got planned, um, which is why I don't really want to go into a 10 hour drive today, knowing I'm going to be going into a 10 tomorrow, not leaving me one for the end for the rest of the week. So I figured do a nine today, maybe do a 10 tomorrow. Um, I do like the idea of filming tomorrow, so I you'll probably see it in an upcoming video, um, so stay tuned. But that's going to be it for today's video, so thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it, hopefully you've enjoyed it. My neighbour next to me um, keeps staring at me, I don't know if he recognises me or not, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to jump out now, I'm going to go to um, the showers, have a shower, get something to eat, and uh, then I'm going to go and go to bed pretty much because I'm quite tired, I've been up since half three this morning, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Before I go, that pink truck there was getting loaded at the same place I was. So I wonder what time he leaves in the morning. We've just so happened to stay at the same place. <laughs> Hopefully I'll leave before. Anyway, I'm going. See you soon. Bye-bye.